talking about the economic situation just segueing here a bit do we have any update from the bondholders um not as yet per se but uh, you know i gave a full explanation at the last host meeting and um what the the response from the bondholders is expected um, um that's part of the negotiation process but we've been very clear to them that we will not go on a on an imf um, standby agreement we have our own homegrown plan and we've shared that with them and, and in the homegrown plan it shows clearly how we're going to be moving um, the economy forward, how we're going to be managing the expenses from government, um, how we're going to reduce um, debt to, to, to GDP. So we had a comprehensive plan that we have um, um, shared um, with them, but we will not do what they're asking, which is also one, going to the IMF, and secondly, to, to say that the Petro-Caribe loan is, is um, illegal, so we are going to just not pay it. We cannot do that as a responsible country, and Venezuela, who has been our friend for so long, um, simply we just can't do that. We will not do that. And they understand that now. So I think now it's waiting for them to, to go through the other steps, beating with themselves, and then they're going to get back to us. Um, but we do believe, um, we, we're quite optimistic. We believe that at the end of the day, we will be able to come to, to an agreement, to, to have a compromise one that um, will allow us beliefs to be able to get out, out of this very, very tough situation. And at the same time for them, so that they can have certainty to know that they are going to be able to, to collect on the investments that they made by purchasing these bonds.